Uh, I'm Zena. I am from the government of Ontario. Uh, Ontario is Canada's largest province, about 14 million people. And the government looks after everything from healthcare to education, uh, transportation, the environment. Uh, it touches people's lives in a lot of ways. I'm part of the Ontario Digital Service, uh, but that is a very recent organization. And our story goes back probably seven or eight years. We started out as a five-person Skunk Works team um, with a mandate to figure out this internet thing. And we were allowed to explore new technologies and new ways of working. Um, and we had a lot of latitude. The one thing we didn't actually have is a big budget. We were quite constrained. And so naturally, that led us to AWS. Um, because it let us experiment and play, and we didn't have to go through an expensive infrastructure blueprinting process um, or spend a lot of money on IT systems. People, you know, they need things clear. They need it fast. They need it to not be intimidating. They need things to work. And so that was actually critical, making government information and services accessible to everyone, having the site up all the time. You're up at 3 a.m., you're freaking out. You go to Ontario.ca, it's there. We're there for you. That was really important for us. From top to bottom, we, we questioned every aspect of Ontario.ca, all the way from the boxes and wires, where it was hosted, how it was designed, which was around organizational needs, not user needs even right down to the words on the page. Were we writing clearly? Were we writing for real people? Or were we writing for ourselves? So we actually put together a multidisciplinary team to look at all of these different aspects. And again, AWS let us experiment with a, a whole new set of things that we had never tried before. The site stopped going down. Uh, that was a big deal. We had disaster recovery. We had auto scaling, a local hacker group DDoSed us for five hours one day and we never went down. Uh, that was pretty amazing. I think it lets public servants believe in themselves. I think a lot of public servants don't have confidence, don't believe that they can learn new things or be as awesome as the private sector. And when we started out, we really didn't know anything about AWS or what it could do, but we learned and we made mistakes and we got really comfortable until we made the next mistake and we learned from that. Um, so I think it actually empowered our technology experts. If you want to be a 21st century government, working in the open, sharing, working iteratively and experimenting are the key skills you need. This is the future. And a team that is really small and may not have the craziest skill sets can actually do pretty mighty things um, with the right tools. So that would be uh, my message to other governments, to public servants, just believe that you are capable of great things.